Hello and welcome back to the Tremendous Tully. So the war in Westeros still rages on. It is mostly in favor of the Queen though. So Dorne should be integrated any moment now. And then that's going to actually change what this looks like quite a lot. Because I believe... I don't know if they, they... I don't think they won the war against the North. But I think everyone else is going to be integrated in. Uh, yeah, imagine everyone else is going to be integrated in after this. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Although the Reach is still in its chaos stage as is the westlands but the Vale and the stormlands and dorne should all just integrate into westeros and then we can come back in and declare our wars it's fantastic we also have a son here he's looking fairly good we've sent him off on a foreign tour so we'll see what he comes back with and that's about it for just now so we're hoping westeros can win their uh yeah win the war there are always things that need to be done when it comes to expanding and improving a castle with proper planning and diligent work, I can make sure the work becomes more efficient. So I can reduce the costs, or the time, costs 100%. That's our, that is our uh, big problem when we're doing uh, castle modifications, is the cost. Now, um, actually doesn't say here that we got reduced costs. That's interesting. So, yeah. If I try and hover over one of those, does it show me how that calculates? No, but it is reduced. I can see it because that was 73 before. It's not really been reduced by that much, but anyway, that's fine. Although that's also probably because we have this winter one that increases it by 25, so yeah, okay. Anyway, smugglers enter domain. Your incompetent Castell is letting a group of smugglers into uh, River Run, which in also increases um, build costs, so hey, whatever. We have a negative 33, but who cares? It doesn't apply anymore. Or oh, maybe the build cost was on us? Ah, it's on us. I see. For five years. Oh, I didn't mean to put that away. We have Simon Tully, our son. Yeah, he's been born. It's all good? Right. Um, how is this going? It is... Still in favor, but about 1% higher than it was before. We are about to finish our castle town in Riverrun, so that should increase our income... By a reasonable amount. It's not a huge amount, but it should do. Castle Town's been built. We're now at 38. Illyria Valerian had Maraxxus Dragon Egg added to their treasury. Excuse me? Was that not the one that Renella had? Oh, there's multiple Maraxxus Dragon Eggs. I see. Interesting. My lord, I've been instructing young Garibald in the ways of Sword and Lance, and he's not cooperating. All he does is gripe and moan about a few scrapes and cuts. He'd rather read a scroll than fight in a joust. So he's become wroth. Okay. Interesting. And uh, we have somebody who's arrived at our court. Lady Andoria of the Sellsword Infantry. Hmm. Wonder why she's at our court. Probably tried to be captured or something. She ran away. Stormlands has descended into chaos. Um, I'm trying to figure out if this was on a succession or something. No, that's been six years since the succession. So this is a war against the tyranny which Selwyn of Tarth is winning. Oh, wow. So that should mean in a war against the tyranny, this guy would resign. So that would then mean that Prince Terence would take over, who's married to Prince Liza of the Rock. So we may end up with everybody with the weird pointy heads. We can imprison Sir Jonas for trying to replace someone as spy master. I would never interfere in that. It's Okay. Right. Dorne looks like that's even further in... Ch in uh, Yep, that's even further in favor. So another 4%. Oh, we got some money. Because the Septon died and we must have given his money to us. Nice, we need a new priest. We don't have a new priest. Oh. Well, we should go and get one. Um, Let's go and find one. Um, So, employ a new courtier. I'm looking for a Septon. Yeah. So we'll get Lewis. There we are. And he can um, be appointed my priest. Good. Excellent. Um, he's also a loyalist, as is everyone else. It's just the thing to do, really. Just be loyal. Right. Uh, we have a ton of money coming in. How much do we get per month? About five. That's really good. Um, how much does it cost to build something? So what do we need for next castle town? We need small estates too. So small estates too. How do we get that? Where is Small Estates? Um, is that the next one up from Private Farms? It is. What do we need for that? Patrol Post 1. Well, I need Patrol Post then. Now, we do still have the negatives here. 
for build cost, and that is for another year. I should at least wait for that to wear off before I do anything. Yeah, so we'll wait a year. Uh, when does it wear off? What month? Wears off uh, 2nd of the 8th. Okay. Ronella has become a poor fighter while in my dungeons. Okay. Oh, the dragon egg's been removed. So where did it go? The dragon egg has gone... To Mena Coldwater. Okay. Um, maybe we just kidnap her as well? <laughs> just collect dragon eggs here. Yeah. Everybody, I've already paid you money. Come join in with the kidnapping. Oh, a chance to abduct her. Yeah, proceed. It's not a high chance of success, really. Um, We're going to say it's too risky. Now let's go for it. Your son, Sir Justin, has recently sent word from Horbreath, where he's just arrived on his tour. He says he is enjoying the hospitality of Lord Master Orbello Quaret, with the guest of honour at an upcoming feast. Oh, so that is all the way in Kohor. Interesting. Yeah, cool. Uh, my son is not feeling well. He has the flu. Oh, it's quite severe flu. Well, hopefully he doesn't die. Did we capture her? Doesn't look like we captured uh, Mira. And he's now been treated and he's doing quite well. Right, good. Alas, Mena surprised the kidnappers with the ferocity of her struggle and they were forced to flee when the guards came running. While an investigation is underway, no one is currently aware you were behind the assault. Uh, just want to point out, I believe that Mena, well she is nine, to be fair, she could, put, she could do some biting and scratching. I thought she was much younger. According to Justicier Lymond, the small folk of Riverrun have started a delightful tradition where the pet small folk from several villages meet up and dance, feast, and pair up for future marriage. By promoting this tradition, Lymond believes the area will develop a strong local culture which will attract more peasants. Sure, I'll take the local tax income. That seems great. Seems absolutely fantastic. Um, so we're still waiting till the yeah we're still waiting till the eighth till we can do anything else here. According to your master arms, the peasants are in frequent trouble with high women. You see, for that, I don't care. Right. Uh, let's carry on. How's the Dornish War going? 87%. That's almost going to be done. Okay. At last. That war has lasted a really long time. Your son, Sir Justin, has recently sent word from... El Batteras, where he's just arrived in his tour, he's enjoying the hospitality of Lord Master Rillo Olorian and will be the guest of honour at an upcoming feast. So he is now in Lorath. So he went kind of far out and is working his way back round. Okay. Seems that Roland, spymaster of Lord Patrick has, of Turnbridge, has been sent to Turnbridge to investigate rumours of a plot. Well, chance my plot is revealed. And he's informed Lord, Pasti uh, Lord Patrick Chambers. Okay, well... Hopefully nothing bad happens there. Oh, did you see that? Dorne was ours for a second. Visenya immediately declared a conquest upon the Nor. We're not in Westeros. No. All right, I need to I need to declare for the queen to see if I can get in here. Yes. Well, at the very least, what the declaring for the queen allows us to do is see the war, which is something we haven't done for a while. So we are against King Rob, son of the others of the North. Um, he's a he was a rebel leader. Oh no, he's this rebel leader. Okay, because I guess it's counting her as the actual ruler of the realm. Okay, I see. So, son of Brandon, his heir is Jora. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well they're probably going to join us any moment, but yeah, we'll see. I only really want to be in the war so I can see what's going on. I ideally wanted to join, but I can't. News from the Battle of Winterfell, my lord. Your nephew, Lord Paramount Joffrey Arryn, has been slain. He was killed in direct single combat by the enemy commander, Lord Owen Ashwood. Well, obviously we're marking him. There's Joffrey um, Arryn of the Vale slain. And my other nephew, Oswin, is taking over. Okay. Well, hopefully Oswin can do better. By all accounts, your son Justin was having a fruitful journey across strange lands and faraway seas. 
He often sent word that many cities and towns, saying of the great time he um, and his friends were having, and was last seen leaving Marine for home. However, according to a surviving companion who made it home, their ship was attacked by pirates, leading Jostin to be captured. He's now imprisoned by L Pirate Lord Tyro of the Grey Gallows. Oh no. Well, that's horrible. Um... Ronella has shown dogged determination in her studies of our language and now expressed a desire to study the history of my people's ancestors. Sure, you can become a river man. Um, can I get my son back? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, now we're past the 2nd of the 8th, we can now buy these patrol posts for a much cheaper price. Good. Still takes a while to build, but we can do that. Um... We've received rumour from Grey Gallows that your son has been thrown in the oubliette by his captor Lord Pirate Lord Tyro of the Grey Gallows. He's been held in a dirty, uh, pitch-black cell day and night with barely food or water. You're getting marked on the list of people we're, we're coming for revenge on. Right. Justin has been released. Hmm. Well, he's now come back from his tour. He's quite happy now, though. We're a friend. In fact, every single thing is a positive. He has nothing bad to think about us. Still married. Still chance of more children. But yeah, maybe the tour went well. Did he buy anything while he was out there? Or was that it? That's it, pretty much. Okay. Righteously imprisoned Sir Jonas. We're not going to do that. The Northern War. We still haven't actually made it up to the North. Or oh, the Vale in a separate war for the North? They're in King Rob's claim on Crow Barons. Oh, okay, so they are in a separate war for the North. I see. Well, we now see the next lot of people running up there. Winter is at an end. Fantastic news. And I think they're just walking straight at Winterfell by the looks of it. Oh, Marax has had another dragon egg. Lord Edmund Tully, to assuage any doubts to my rightful claim to Dorne, I'll hereby adopt the arms and words of my ancestor, Lady Paramount Daria Martell. Signed, Lady Paramount Jomela of House Martell. Interesting. So she's taking her mother's, um, her mother's house. Her father was a gardener. Oh, okay. So that's cool. That's uh, one of the game rules you can turn on, where they can inherit other people's houses. I quite like that. Yeah. And she gave the dragon egg away to... Who's got this dragon egg? It is... Lady... Relinor of Sharp Point. Why? Why did you give her the egg? Oh, because she is your sister. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So we have a ton of dragon eggs all around the Valerians. We have one of them, but... Yeah. We only have one of them. The Northern War does not look like it's going to take as long as the Dornish War. Just from my first look at it. Serene Estermont is dead at my court. Okay, that was where she was last seen. My nephew, Theomar, has got some more diplomacy and has become humble. We have a really good collection of uh, like courtiers here who can potentially be um, potential heirs, I should say. Okay. Uh, Aegon Targaryen is dead. He died from too much drinking. Blackfire, I assume, has passed on to... Visenya? Yep, she now has Blackfire and Dark Sister. And, um, and what I'm wondering is if this guy inherits, because it's a Summer Islander, which is weird, but is he going to take the Targaryen name? Maybe, without the bloodline, but just having the name. That could be odd. Yeah, I could lead some, do some weird stuff. Um, so that's fine. Oh, we got another claim. Castle High Heart. You know what? Let's do it. Another claim. So we now have a claim on all three Wayfarer's Rest provinces. So we can press all of those in the next time we want to do a war. Um, should we just start claiming more? Like over here? Yeah, just start on the next one, I guess. That's fine. Yeah. We're, we have a ton of claims for if we ever actually get back in. Um, okay, Master Andros, Maester Andros has asked if I can pay him some money to advance medicine. No. Uh, I don't have the money right now. But we might soon. Septon Lyman would like a reward of 11 gold. Sure. You can have a gold. You can have a, a reward. 
Travers bring rumor of fire and blood. Um, they say that dragons live once more and that Sir Corwin now rides Valerian into battle. Sir Corwin being of no house. Interesting. So that's where Valerian has gone. See how that goes. Patrol posts have been built. So the next one I want to build is private farms. Okay. Well, well, small estates is the next level up of that. So when we get to 58 gold, we can do that. Although I do have a son who will need an education at some point. He's, yeah, he's still a bit young for that. Do I want to marry off my daughter and my other son? Yeah, definitely. Who's my daughter going to marry? The Lord of Harrenhal, a Malister. That seems like not a bad marriage. I mean, she is a bit older. That's okay, it's only five years we have to wait. Yeah, that seems like a really good marriage. Let's go for that one. And then Garibald here. Um, Butterwell. Where's Butterwell? It's over here somewhere. Um, that's right there. It's underneath Harrenhal. Well, definitely not then. That doesn't fit. It's also a bit young. Um, well, let's find somebody who's a bit more appropriate here. In terms of age, anyway. We have some people who are good fighters from Summer Islanders, and we have Skagosi. Um, well, do we have anyone else who fits here? Try to see if we have any houses I recognize. None are popping up immediately. Goldwine? So that's in the reach. Uh, not, well, she's the sister of the person who owns the arbor. Okay, that's quite a far away one. There's a good house. Yeah, why don't you marry my son, Garibald? Perfect. Uh, yep, and then we also need our nephew to be married off, so let's go find him. That's my nephew, Theomar. Yeah, nephew Theomar. I'm looking for a genius. He can marry, um, yeah, well, he could marry this person. That's not too bad. It's gonna be another six years. Yeah, it still works out. Yeah, they can marry. I know she's from further away, but I I'm just entirely after the genius, the spreading there. See whether we can make that side of the house really smart. They're going to get betrothed. Nice. Um, what I should have done is get is done this while I was there. So it's not just, don't want to dissolve alliances. I just want to form alliances if anyone's near enough and wants one. No one does. Uh, how about the Harrenhal one? Are you still waiting? Um, you've accepted that these two will get married. We'll form an alliance there. Nice. You've accepted that they will get married and we'll form an alliance there. Fantastic. Also notice he has the silver hair. Where's he got the silver hair from? There's a river man on that side. Ah, it's from uh, Daela. Interesting. Okay. Your son Garibald comes storming to your chamber seeking a word. He is refusing to marry Lyrissa Goldwine. He seems very concerned at the prospect of marrying a close kinswoman. She's not a close kinswoman, is she? Not at all, in any way. Oh, is it because she, she's my daughter-in-law and that's a close kinswoman? No, we're going to force it. Yeah, I command you I, I command you to proceed with this betrothal. Or is it that he want? Yeah, so it's got a wren popped up there, like she's in any way related to this. I mean, they're not related to my wife either, are they? Oh! Okay, I see what the check is. Our wife has no house. Uh, she has no house. Our wife has no house. Therefore, he's concerned that he's marrying. Yeah, okay. You're going to marry. Right. Do I want to ask for a dowry? Yes. We have got the... Ooh, it was a generous one. Much gold and silver was offered, probably more than the worth of the bride. Fantastic. And we should host a wedding. So let's host one. And all my vassals will be there. Proposal for an alliance has come through. The next proposal for an alliance has come through. Fantastic. Another claim? I mean, I'll go into negatives for these claims. Yeah. I really hope we don't die now, but 
That is amazing. Um, yeah, it's bef it was before we could even reassign him. But it's gonna it's gonna be a small wedding. He's our second son after all, so we're not worried about it. Right, everyone's invited. Something is rotten in Riverrun. I have suspicions about a plot, maybe an assassination or something horrifying unraveling in front of my unseeing eyes. I'll find out what's going on. I think I've found a culprit. Sir, Sir Theomar is the culprit. Hmm. Yes. In his infirm state, he's plotting against us. Okay. Um, I caught the cook and Sir Theomar plotting against me. When I confronted them, they denied it at first, but broke down and eventually confessed what they were planning to humiliate me. How they planned to do it, they refused to say. I forgave them, even though it was hard. Yeah. Okay. Well, all the guests have arrived for the wedding. Fantastic. They are now standing before the gods. My lord, I wish to uh, express my consternation at the fact that Sir Jonas enjoys command of your armies. Oh, we'll just talk this guy out of that problem. Yep. He's very good at fighting, so he should be in charge of our armies. Garibald and Lyrissa are now to be bedded. They have gone off. The wedding feast has ended. And uh, are we having a grandchild? Not right away. She does have a bloodline. The blood of Garth Greenhand. Cool. Well, with that wedding over, I think it's time to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. It looks like the North will integrate itself into Westeros before the Targaryens are dead. But then we have a chance to start growing and uh, corrupting them, well, corrupting Westeros from the inside and then taking it over. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.